Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to add a vertical line to show today's date in a project timeline. In our example we have a project timeline which helps provide a big picture overview of future objectives or deadlines. If you want to create a project timeline chart like this one then check out the video in the description below. What we want to do is have a line showing today's date so that we know where in the project timeline we're currently at. To get started we need to fill in this table here which contains a y-axis heading and a heading for today's date where today's date represents the x-axis. The rationale for this is as follows. To create our vertical line we'll need to use a scatter chart. And in order to create the scatter chart, we need to tell Excel what the X and Y coordinates will be. For now, let's fill this table in with today's date, which we've already done. And for the Y axis coordinates, we'll type minus 10 and 10. I will explain why we're doing this later. What we want to do now is add another series which will represent today's date. To do this, right click the project timeline and click select data and then click add. For the series name, we can use today. We can now exit and click OK. Next, let's change the chart type of this new series to a scatter chart as discussed. To do this, right click the project timeline and then click change chart type and go to combo. For the vertical line, we want to select a scatter chart with straight lines to get the effect we want. Now that we've changed the formats, let's once again right click the charts click select data and edit the values. What we want to do is we want to tell Excel what the X and the Y values are. For the X values, select the data containing today's date. And for the Y values, select the Y axis values in the table. As you can see, we now have a vertical line representing today's date. We can remove these data labels. And if you'd like to format the line, you can right click it, click format data series, and then you can select the type of dash that you like. And there we go, we've got a vertical line corresponding to today's date. Now you may be wondering how these X and Y values impact the vertical line. If we change today's date over here, you can see that it automatically updates the position on the line charts. And as shown, these two dates should always match. The purpose of the Y axis is to determine the height of the vertical line. In other words, we firstly used minus 10 as we want the line to begin at the bottom of the chart. We then use 10 because this is the maximum point of the project timeline. So that's how you can add a vertical line to a project timeline in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.